As many communities throughout the world approach the limits of their available water supply, water reclamation and reuse has become an attractive option for conserving and extending those supplies. In addition, water reuse presents the community an opportunity for pollution abatement as it replaces effluent discharge to sensitive surface waters or marginal soils. In the United States, the Environmental Protection Agency has published a manual entitled Guidelines for Water Reuse, and many other countries or territories around the world are incorporating much of this important information in their areas. Water reclamation and non-potable reuse only require conventional water and wastewater treatment technology that is widely practiced and readily available throughout the world. It has been determined that an increasing population can be served from existing potable water sources through water reclamation and reuse programs, many of which have been found in arid or water-scarce areas, such as Middle Eastern countries and island-type environments. It has also been determined that a more vigorous program for pollution control has led to advanced wastewater treatment processes with water reuse programs serving both water conservation and pollution abatement. Another item of consideration in developing reuse recycle systems is that the quality of the reclaimed water be appropriate for its intended use. In addition to specific areas of the United States, several Caribbean island localities have instituted water recycling programs. One such island is that of Barbados, where the government has permitted resort hotel owners to utilize the chromoglass wastewater processing, whereby treated effluent is stored and reused in lieu of potable water supply for flowering plants. One excellent example of this water conservation can be found at the Savannah Hotel in Barbados, where 30% of the treated water is used for toilet flushing and the remainder with irrigation of flowering plants surrounding the rooms and swimming pools. With this, the need for conventional sewage disposal and design has been eliminated. Wastewater from the rooms and kitchen dining facilities is conveyed to a 15,000-gallon chromoglass sequential batch reactor system located in a ground floor room near the bedrooms and patio swimming pool area. A pump station carries the wastewater to an adequately sized equalization tank from where it is piped to the 15,000 GPD chromoglass system. Note piping connections between tank sections, including a sludge processing component. From the treatment tanks, treated effluent is pumped into a two-stage filter with an automatic back flushing capability. From the filter, effluent then travels through two ultraviolet disinfection units where cleaning of the radiation tubes is indicated as part of the control program in which indicator lights advise the operator of cleaning frequency. As part of the island government program for disinfection, a two-section chlorinator follows the UV system and resulting treated effluent is drained into a holding tank whereby it is combined with rainwater runoff from the building's rooftops. Two heavy-duty water pumps then convey the treated effluent to a 90,000-gallon holding tank from which this water is transferred to perforated piping under plants and other vegetation surrounding the rooms and pools. Many other hotels and private homes in Barbados utilize chromoglass systems for reuse of their water supplies. A large hotel resort, Port St. Charles, utilizes four chromoglass model CA-150 treatment modules processing 60,000 GPD of wastewater. Included in the areas using the treated effluent are the plants and flowers around the rooms and boat canals. One of the more prominent chromoglass installations in the Caribbean is a new hotel, Villanova, which was originally constructed for Sir Anthony Eden, a minister under Winston Churchill, and eventually an English prime minister himself. This hotel is located within the beautiful sugarcane plantations of Barbados. <music>